What is going on guys, DBG here, and this is the NBA 2K20 demo. So obviously we've got, we've got 2K UMI player builder here, and then a thing double the size of both of them, which is just basically telling you to pre-order. So yeah, that is not great to be completely honest. So I was hoping for a lot more. I was honestly hoping for a lot more. Because all I'm going to say is, is that EA doesn't do basketball games well, but you know what they do well? Their demos. Do I think, do I have the Live 19 demo? I don't on this system. I have the Live 19 demo on my other PS4. EA, Live 18, Live 19, did an unbelievable job with their demos. They had some challenges in, they updated some of their demos, they gave us online challenges. Uh, I really couldn't care less what LD is saying, I'm go but I am going to put up the music a little bit. Volume. Take a brief moment to share with all of you how excited we are about NBA 2K20's My Career Mode. Once again, 2K has managed to further blur the line between game and reality with the most authentic and engaging experience to date. Building your legacy begins with building your my player. You're totally right, and that's why this year, the first thing you'll do is set your potential using the brand new My Player Builder. I have already spent hours experimenting on different builds. The builder basically lets you create your own archetype from scratch. Absolutely, we've given you the tools to build your My Player however you want. I even got to choose my own takeover. The demo gives you the power to create up to six unique builds and test each of them completely upgraded in a full NBA game. And of course, any My Player builds that you create will be waiting for you as soon as you launch NBA 2K20. So from all of us here at 2K Sports and 2K TV, we hope you enjoy NBA 2K20 as much as we do. We're unable to find head scan. Apparently, even if you uh, did scan your face, it didn't show. And unfortunately, wasn't able to attend community day, so I wasn't able to get a head scan. I couldn't even care less really about the head looking like me. So who has the most square head here? Uh, that one maybe. Um, I go with this this one here. It's probably the most square of them all. First name, why not? Fido Leaner. Position, let's be small forward, right handed or left hand. Jersey number. Uh, let's go 41 and continue. Okay, so skill breakdown. I don't know what all these things, okay. Uh, so, shooting. What's physical profile mean? Okay, so, this is fast, strong, and good acceleration. Vertical doesn't really matter. This is fast, good acceleration, not great strength. Slow, strong, with good vertical. Speed, acceleration, the most important things. Strength isn't that important. I'm gonna go with this one here. I'm gonna have the top one. Set my potential. Okay, it doesn't affect any stats. So as you guys know, the wider the body is, the better it is. So I don't know which body is what, uh, which is wider, built or burly. It looks like built is that little bit wider, but I'm gonna go burly. I let's see if I go six nine, what do I go down in? I go down five in lateral quickness, but the extra little bit of height is going to help. Speed I go down to seventy three acceleration. That was minus seven. I go up those two inches. Standing dunk goes up. Three point goes down two. I want to be six six. That's too small. I'll go six nine. I'll go six nine because I think the height makes that bit of a difference. I don't mind my strength. Actually, I might go light. So yeah, I don't mind my strength going down. It makes me out a little bit faster. 
That gives me a little bit of extra lateral quickness, which I've lost. Wingspan, okay. Um, I don't really mind going down two and three points shot to max out my wingspan. Go minus three. I think I'm fine with that. Uh, what's what I want? Slasher, spot up shooter, or uh, I don't know. I might go sharp. I don't really want post score take over because I don't really have any post moves. I'm gonna go sharp take over. So where do I go from here? So I built a three level scorer. So I built similar similarities of Brandon Ingram, James Worthy, and Jimmy Butler. Oh sweet, so I can test my player at everything. So I can test myself at 99. Wait, what? Wait, what? A 99? And I don't have a single stat over 80? Say no, I do. I have post fade and shot close. That's 80. This is a joke, right, isn't it? It's a joke. So I've got 14 finishing badges. Can I just give him all Hall of Fame? Okay, I oh know, so I've got like four upgrades, so. I'm gonna go Giant Slayer, because I think this could be a really OP badge, contact finisher. Give me now Hall of Fame. Uh, give me Relentless Finisher Silver, maybe. Got four left. Slithery Finisher. Um, cross Key Score, no. Pro Touch, not really bothered with that. Uh, let me go Hall of Fame Slittery Finisher as well. So three Hall of Fame. Shooting, I got 70 badges. So I'm going to give myself Hall of Fame Range Extender. Gonna give myself Hall of Fame Quick Draw. Uh, what's the one called? Hall of Fame, or I'm going to silver that, silver that, silver that, and we bronze dead eye, bronze, and let's give me bronze corner specialist. Yeah, I'll go with that. So we got three upgrades and playmaking badges. Um, let's go silver space creator, bronze stop and go, and defense slash rebounding. Um, these clamps as well as off ball pest, maybe. Yeah, I'll go with that. Let's see how I get on. What the hell is that? What the hell was that? I was late? I was, that was the quickest release I've ever seen. Bang. Leaner, unlucky. I call him Hito Leaner and that was just an off balance shot right there. I am gonna change it, it's hard. Like I know it's easy in shoot around, I can't change my settings, my shot meter. I know it sounds great and all having it, uh, at your feet because that was the way it was in 2K17. I think I'm gonna need to change the way I look at card, look at everything now because I have not been able to see that meter for a couple of shots. That was very late, like, I don't think the speed up badge is the best thing in the world. That's like, that's la everything's late. Everything's late, like, I'm trying to time these releases and I can't time anything. Okay, spin them. Tack in, right to the basket. Oh, nice dunk right there by Hito Leaner. Very late, really? And like, you don't understand how quickly I'm releasing this button. So I think that that badge, the one that I gave Hall of Fame, the higher you have it, the faster it releases, that, that's gonna be a badge where it's gonna be like tuned for each player. 
I think for some players, their releases are already fast enough. They don't need it. Can't hit the leaner. I don't think I know how to play this game. Oh, that's an awkward fadeaway. Oh, there we go. Still, those quick releases could be super overpowered if you can get used to them. Obviously, I'm just jacking it right here. I'm taking bad shot after bad shot with low stamina. Spin in. Oh, come on. What type of animation was that? I wish, like, arms and feet was the perfect, like, 2K19, I think, almost perfected the shot meter. They almost did. It was a bigger shot meter than 2K18, as well as the hands and feet shot meter was good as well. But, uh, I didn't mind 2K17 at the time, so maybe I'll, this will grow on me again. Green, there we go. Bang, in the corner. That's covered, it doesn't matter, it goes in. Hit me on the break, come on, Yakim, hit me. Green, there we go. Okay, those, the quicker release is something that's gonna take a learning curve, but it's definitely something that is uh, gonna be a benefit in game. Well, it's gonna be a benefit to players. But a lot of people are looking at this like, oh, it's gonna be great for my players. I'm looking at these badges thinking, what the hell happens if Yanis has the Hall of Fame? That's literally the way I'm looking at all these. What if you give these badges to Yanis, what happens? Bang. Good shot there by Hito Leaner. Range extender for three. Let's, let's go. Hito Leaner hits the three point shot. I don't have the badge that's just called Box. The greatest named badge in history. Box. Not Box Out. Not like Box Out King or Elite Box Out. Something along those lines. They be, they be, they're bad names, but they're better than Box. They're better than Box. There is no worse name for a badge than Box. And this is a game that changed Limitless Range to Range Extender. And it still isn't the worst named badge so far. Because they have Box. Like, Clamps is pretty bad. Like, oh, there we go. That's the slippery finisher, isn't it? Oh, right to the basket. Oh, there we go. I'm, I pulled off that animation again. Like, that layup animation is sick. Hito Leaner, Leaner hits it, there we go. Hito with the Leaner. Not a great release, late again. Range extender, green life from there. From there. Hall of Fame, range extender. Oh my God, that was deep. That was deep. And we won the My Player Build game. Celebrations all around. We won a game that's pretty much impossible to lose. So like, what? I can't. So you have to keep making builder files. So My Player Builder. I can't use this one again. I have to make a new one. So what? And this demo is bad. This demo is straight up bad. Um, actually, no. Like, it's not. It's not actually that bad. It's not a good demo. Like, if they'd even allowed us play a half a game with like four NBA teams like FIFA do, it would have been a solid demo. Not the worst demo. Like, you know, it is, it's as bad as a demo can be. It is as bad, it's literally, I don't even know why I'm trying to make an argument. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. And I'm going to make a rant video 100%. 100%. Uh, tomorrow I've got an exam on Friday, so I'm not gonna spend much time I'm just gonna make a round video tomorrow about this demo because it is an absolute joke An absolute joke So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like comment and subscribe